6, I'm Jamie Cassell alongside of Kelly Swoop here tonight. The investigation continues into the murder of a Bel Air woman at the Mom Pa Trail. Happened last weekend. Please still no rest. But as WMER 2 News Jeff Hager reports, that has made Rachel Morin's murder a magnet for speculation that could hamper the investigation. Images of Rachel Morin, the murdered mother of five, now mark the Mon Pa Trail. And the Hartford County Sheriff's Office has been inundated with questions surrounding her death, prompting the sheriff to take to social media. One question we have continued to get centers around whether we have interviewed the boyfriend in this case. The answer is yes, we have, along with many other people who are close to Rachel. A modern day whodunit, this case almost immediately attracted the attention of the national media, as well as from outlets from abroad. While the sheriff's office has 78,000 followers on Facebook, posts about Rachel's murder have reached 2 million people. And the public hungry for answers is gobbling up coverage of virtually anyone claiming to have information about the case. Basically, when we walked up, we saw fresh blood, and my daughter's boyfriend thought it was deer blood at first. Police say they're frustrated by such people seeking the spotlight. Obviously, uh, there are people out there who are coming up with, putting out information in the public that they have no firsthand knowledge of, uh, talking about the crime scene that they have no firsthand knowledge of. Investigators are also concerned about the integrity of the case if details only known to the killer become public, not to mention the impact it could have on Rachel's family. All the false information that's going on out there, um, hearing about possible injuries to her and how this crime occurred, which aren't true, um, has got to make it harder on them. And so people need to think about that when they're out there spreading that kind of information. In Harford County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.